Well, Lisa, to recap what we first reported, multiple sources told us California's powerful labor group at the negotiating table, SEIU, required the few who negotiated on behalf of the fast food industry to sign non-disclosure agreements. So we might not ever know how exactly that mysterious exemption for bakeries would end up in the law. What we've learned is Democratic lawmakers who first claimed they were involved in the legislation are now saying they were never in those final negotiations, while Republicans can continue their calls for an investigation. Questions consuming the state capitol Thursday after KCRA 3 first reported non-disclosure agreements were used in the making of California's landmark fast food minimum wage law. On this NDA, the non-disclosure agreements, that is egregious. I mean, that's corrupt. That is, uh, th that everybody should be having a visceral reaction to that in their gut, that this is not how American government works. Republican state lawmakers pressuring Governor Gavin Newsom to release records related to the negotiations. I think everyone's concerned. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say they were left out of the final negotiations, leaving it all up to the governor to oversee. The governor's office said it had no involvement in the NDAs. The SCIU, which required the fast food industry leaders to sign them, has not responded to our repeated requests for comment. State Senator David Cortezzi led the Senate's Labor Committee when the deal passed. And I asked specifically, should I be involved in trying to help mediate this? And they said, no, you know, pretty much absolutely not. We're, we've got this, we're going to work it out, and then we're going to bring our solution to the governor. Uh, so where they decided to use non-disclosure agreements along the way, I'm not sure. I can tell you as I stand here today that no senators were involved. Newsom and the new law under intense scrutiny because of an exemption for fast food bakeries, a carve out that sources have told us would benefit his billionaire donor, Greg Flynn. But experts note the bigger issue is keeping the public legally in the dark about how it all happened. You know, the use of non-disclosure agreements in government is typically frowned upon at all levels of government because of the need for transparency. We're dealing with public money, we're dealing with the, the public trust. This isn't partisan. This is good government. You know, this should be a bipartisan thing that we ensure this stuff isn't going on and that we put an end to it. Now, we also asked legislative leaders to comment here. Senate Pro Tem Mike McGuire told us he's never been involved in a negotiation that included NDAs and does not see the need for them. We are still waiting to hear back from Speaker of the Assembly, Robert Revis. And I know you asked him this yesterday, but has the governor said if he was aware of the NDAs? No. Uh, we keep asking him and his office if they were aware the NDAs uh, that were used, if they were aware of the NDAs being used, and if the governor is actually okay with their use in the crafting of public policy that affects Californians. We're still not getting straight answers to any of those questions at this point. Okay, still a lot of ground to cover yes. here. We'll stay on top of it, and yeah. thanks for keeping us up to date, mm -hmm. Ashley.